en guise d'introduction des Frogans Awards, so, euh, as an introduction euh, to these Frogans Awards, we are going to be talking to someone who has been with the Frogans project for quite a long time. And he, he is a blogger. And he has this blog for web designing. And that's uh, Joe Cady. So, Joe? <coughs> Nous allons en même temps switch to and English. we are uh, going to switch to English. Because Joe Cady is from the United States of America, and we'll give you a mic just for that. Oh, right. Thanks for being from the United States of America. That's, that's, very, that's, that's yeah, very how lucky you get tonight. I'm honored. <coughs> um, thank you, Joe, for coming today. Thank you to, for having me here. Excellent. Um, I have my little notes here because uh, I want to make sure I don't say bad things about you. Okay. Right. Uh, for those who don't know Joe, I know we, we've, meet, uh, we've met a lot of people in the um, information sessions that uh, have checked the uh, Frogans .frogans .frogans lab com website. Mm -hmm. Joe is the publisher of that site. Mm -hmm. But not everybody knows him personally. So you are, okay. and, I, and I, again, I put a note here, a semi-professional musician. That works, yeah. That works. Okay. You're also a professional graphic designer. That works too. Okay. And you've been for a long time? I have. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you followed a project, uh, the Frogans project, for a long time through the uh, operator of the FCR. That's right. That's how many, right. How many years, basically? Uh, first time I set foot in, I think it was around... 2001, 2002, something like that, to uh, work on some demos, uh, sort of proof of concept demos of sites, Frogan's sites in 2002. Can you so, imagine that? So you were actually designing Frogan sites back then? Back then, yes. So tell us a little bit. It was like uh, Frogan's F F FSDL, what? Which, um, which version was that? That was two, maybe 2.1 or something along those lines. Okay. Um, it, was, it was young. Okay. And, uh, and so were you. And so, weren't we all? <laughs> <laughs> okay, so uh, fast forward a few years, mm -hmm. you're now the uh, publisher of uh, Frogan's. Yes, I'm the proud publisher Frogan's of Frogan'sLab.com. Lab. Frogan's how, how come that name? Um, because it was available, it was, um, well, it's kind of a lab. The idea is that it's, um, well, it was a bit of a laboratory for me, um, but I, the idea would be that eventually it could be a laboratory for other people too. Um, at the, all this came about when uh, the Frogan's uh, Player for Developers, Alpha, came out. Right. That was back, <clears throat> in, back in September. Yeah. Okay. So, um, given that in the long run, we will expect Frogan sites to be consulted on the internet using Frogan's addresses, but in the meantime, with the Alpha uh, for developers, um, people are really working within their own individual um, capacities without seeing each other, basically, because right. things are not going online. So the idea here was is that if there's something online, a little code, a little few, example here, a site there, people can have something of a reference if, they're, if they have questions, in fact, if they're just getting their feet wet, if they're not necessarily developers with a, uh, with a technical uh, tendency. Um, so it's just to answer a few simple questions. Um, at least that's the start of it. Uh, also, like, I would like to see people contribute also. Um, and again, the idea of sharing experiences and sharing, uh, sharing experiments. Sharing experiments. Okay. So this is <clears throat> froganslab.com. Yeah. Uh, I know that you also tweet a lot about FSDL and you have a special handle. I have a special handle. What I have my it? own handle. Um, oh, I thought you were going to tell me. Uh, it's uh, turn on red. It's turn on red. why turn on red. Why? Uh, why turn on red? Uh, it's kind of a tribute to the California driving code. Um, you can make a right turn on a red light in California, and I just think that's really cool on its, in itself. <laughs> kind of turns me on. Okay. So everybody in the room, who, <laughs> if you are uh, uh, tweeting, you can also uh, ask questions. Uh, to turn on red, share uh, comments, share uh, code also. Yeah. Turn on red. Yeah. And um, exchange experiments. Yes. Okay. So we're going to have a look um, at your site. All That's right. That's right? That's it. Okay. Um, <clears throat> what, so I guess you, the, the reason why you started that site is because 
you felt there was a need, but also because you have a special relationship with uh, FSDL, the language? Well, yeah, I, I know it pretty well because I've seen it through different uh, versions, and so I've been able to follow uh, it, even if uh, with there are always a few new surprises as, as, it's, as it becomes more and more mature. Um, and so I thought, yeah, what might be a bit more easy for me might be a bit difficult for other people. So um, I thought that there would be a, a need for people to just get their feet wet, so to speak, um, get started with it. Um, so we talk about, what do we talk about here? Um, there are some more uh, developed, more sort of advanced ideas, but also some very simple ideas. Um, FSDL is uh, FSDL I'm, <laughs> is uh, is quite different from what people would expect out of HTML, for instance. And so um, there's, for instance, the first one, well, this early one's creating a Frogan slide and viewing it, kind of goes over just a bit of the basic concepts if you're going to get something on a Frogan site. Sure. The what steps what you have to go jump, through. Jump in this uh, entry, creating a Frogan slide yeah. and uh, and viewing it. Okay. So. Say I'm a beginner in FSDL, yeah. I come across your site. Yes. What do I find on uh, FrogansLab.com? Besides a big dog. Um, is, that, is that your actual dog? No, that's a friend's dog. Okay. His name's Vasco. Um, let's see, what do we talk about? Well, um, there's, um, first we talk about the very basics of S FSDL, the way in which it's kind of a process. Um, I'd say there's a bit of a production chain in there. Um, these are terms that are not really used in the specification so far as I know, but for me it, it, it appears that way in which you have, um, for instance, you create resources and then you put them in layers. Um, and you have to do one before doing the next. Or in, for instance, example two, we're talking about um, if you're importing an image, well, you've got to first tell Frogan's player using FSDL with the tag, the file tag, that hey, there's gonna be a file here and I'm gonna, I'm gonna and, the, and that way Frogan's player knows where it is. Right. You give it a, an identifier and then when you use res image, you create a resource using the identifier you'd had in file, and et cetera, et cetera, um, in which you, and then you create it actually from res image, you create another identifier which you will then refer to in layer. So, you got to get kind of used to this idea of going step by step, and uh, once you do uh, and get used to it, it's, it's, it's a lot easier. It's a lot easier. And you realize that it's rather simple, in fact. It's just, it's just right in front of you, in a right. sense. That so, so each page that's up there is basically built on the same uh, model. You start with a concept, a, a, a given concept of SDL, then you give a step by step like tutorial type of uh, yeah, yeah, uh, this is, drive, and then yeah. at, at the bottom there is a, a piece of code to download usually. Yeah, there is, uh, usually right. a piece of code. Is that code that can be reused? Yes, anybody can reuse it, do with it what you will. Um, I, I claim no particular rights to it. Uh, I think... Uh, you contribute to the community? There you go. I'm contributing to the community. I'm doing my, pulling my weight, Ex yeah. Excellent. So yeah. maybe we'll... Um, <clears throat> Go down that page. Uh, I think there's a there's a link somewhere where you can download the site, the a piece of uh, FSDL code. I think yeah, there is at the bottom. See, so it can be pretty long. Very really long, yeah. You know, you like to be like you're detail oriented, right? Uh, yeah. All right. So here's here is one code you can download from uh, the the site. Mm -hmm. All right. And you can live. Okay. Well, actually, live, but uh, we also prepared that. So uh, maybe we can open um, the the code from uh, this fragrance player that's uh, up here, and I think it's called button test uh, button zero one. Lab one. Uh, uh, zero Sorry. two, I think. Yeah. The, uh, um, we'll test. We'll see test. what happens. Yeah. Uh, button, just button. Uh, oh. Uh, let's try my one. Oh, you, your name. Okay. <laughs> hey. Okay. All right, so that's the actual code there's, that's on there's your the, site? Um, there, are, there are snippets of the code, yes. Okay. Um, it's not the full code. Um, okay. There are also things added into that one that weren't um, discussed just to, to make it fun. For instance, the leap out, which is a little bit different than what I remember. Okay. Um, yeah. All right. So here you're, you're kind of teaching how to create a slide. Yeah. 
with the code, and yes. anyone can uh, get uh, inspired by, by your code. Yes. Okay. Um, so that's typically that page is for uh, beginners. You yeah. recently posted more advanced um, content. Yes. So which which page, for example, would be interesting? What could to we have go a look to? At? Well, we could go to. Why don't we go right now to the to the uh, some of the. Well, look at the hamburger, for instance. The hamburger, sure, okay. sure. Hamburger. So that's a site that uh, you developed for a, yeah, a well, company the, called Le Chariot. Well, um, inspired by their by their their work, um, it's it's not really uh, it's it wasn't really a job, but it was uh, it was a proof of concept um, that that um, yes, hey, um, <laughs> you know I'm enthralled by it. Um, um, proof and concept uh, for this food truck. It's a real food truck. It really does roll around in Paris and, and around. And, um, and they have uh, some, some, some good resources, like a good photo of a hamburger, for instance, and uh, other good pictures. And it turned to, I just thought it would be really good uh, material for, for trying out a site. So um, it's actually uh, got several slides and there's their explication explanations on how to create certain rollover effects, um, how to get transparency from images that aren't transparent uh, using FSDL, and other advanced stuff like that. Cool. Again, we did that work before, and I think it's called Le Chariot Test Star Le Chariot. Is there any copyrighted material here on this one? Ah. Uh, Possibly. At any rate, I have permission to use it. OK, you have permission to use it. OK, good. <coughs> All right. Yeah. So that's a food truck. That's the food truck. It's actually, the, the truck is actually a wagon. So the, 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 the first slide was made in the shape of the wagon that the truck really is, uh, with the two little wheels and everything. OK. Um, and, um, and that is, at least at the time that I made it, oh, here we go. Um, that's their logo. So. We put that on their, uh, on the leap out, on the vignette uh, version. There are a couple of a uh, couple of buttons. There's the one on the left, la carte. As you see, it's also fancy button effect where, uh, um, uh, well, we'll talk about that later. Um, and this is yes, this is, this is actually one of their hamburgers, photographed by their hamburger photographer. And. Um, we also have an effect where the uh, you can have a, um, a rollover in one in more than one place, which is kind of fun. Where you have a perhaps perhaps a, a button, but when you pass over that button, then another element shows up, like the text, for instance. Right. It's a great safe space saver where you can have, for instance, a lot of icons, mm -hmm. not necessarily with the text describing what they are, but when you roll over, there's an area on the site that shows you what those icons refer to in text. Um, so you can fit a lot of buttons onto one slide you if need be. Yes. And that's something you cannot do with other Right. Uh, well, with, uh, with, uh, with mobile web, for instance, it's, uh, you just can't really do that because the buttons have to be big. And so you end up scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Whereas on a, on a Frogan's uh, site, you can actually get a lot of information across in a smaller space. Right. That's, that's one of the beauties. That's of, one of the beauties uh, of, of it. FSDL? Yes. <laughs> you see it. Okay. Um, I know you, you have a, also a project. Well, thanks for that. Thanks for sharing. I encourage everyone to uh, have a look, a closer look at uh, fragranceLab.com. Mm -hmm. And I understand that you do have a project to uh, bring on um, contributors yes, for, for the site? Yes. Uh, the call is open. The call is out. Um, They're actually watching you here right yeah, now. Yeah, hey. So talk to potential contributors now. <laughs> Hey, you potential contributors! You want to get your site and your um, your Frogans creatish your Frogans creations, might I say, on the web? As contradictory as it might sound, but at this moment, it seems like a pretty good idea. Uh, contact at FrogansLab.com, and I'd like to put stuff up. Thanks. Right. So that's contact at FrogansLab.com, and the material that need that uh, you want contributed to your site needs to be. Oh yeah. Free, free of, of any any copyright. Right. Yeah. Right? Yeah. Because why? Why was because the because because well we just don't want to get uh, trademark holders and copyright owners upset, and 
because that's just uh, that's just not a sustainable model. Okay, so you want people to contribute mm -hmm. content that's completely free of right, free of um, free of, of yeah, everything that, everything that's up here is allowed. Okay. And what did they win if they <laughs> contribute to your site? They just uh, they win the admiration of their fellow Frogans creators. Admiration. So that's a big round of applause for Joe Katie. <laughs> Maybe, maybe any any questions uh, in the in the crowd here or on Twitter? Um, Mary, is any any content for, for Joe or any question? Hi, um, I'm not a graphic designer or anything, but I had a go at uh, creating my first Frogan <laughs> site. Mary. And the camera's here. Can you, introduce, can you introduce yourself just for a second? Okay, hi. My name is Mary B. Adams, and um, tonight I'm uh, animating the, the Twitter for this event. Please feel free to tweet. Uh, and I created my first Frogan site with absolutely no experience, and, uh, and Joe's blog was really helpful to me. So if you're, if you're wanting to, to have a go at it, I suggest you check out his blog. That's all. Thanks. Thank you, Thank you Mary. Any other question? Maybe in French, we're happy to translate. Right. So again, thank you, Joe. Thank you for your, for your work with the Frogans community. Yeah, and uh, hope, good luck with uh, Frogans Lab. Uh, thanks.